Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial of OBS Studio. I'm going to show you guys here today how to use a green screen or basically the chroma key with OBS Studio so that you can basically get rid of the background while you're doing live streams or whatever you're doing, recording videos, anything you're doing with OBS. It is awesome sometimes to have a green screen and if you are having a hard time finding exactly how to do that, then you have found the right source here. Uh, so what you want to do, first of all, is download OBS Studio. Uh, so you can go to obsproject.com. It's HTTPS colon slash slash obsstudio.com. Also, if you just type in OBS on uh, Google, you will find it as well. So you want to come in here and download the program. So uh, it is a safe program, so don't worry. Uh, you're going to want to download that. And then once you download it, when you open it up, you're going to uh, have this program, basically. Uh, so you've got different scenes over here. Uh, you're going to want to add a scene. So once you add a scene, you're going to want to add a source. We're just going to assume that you guys know how to add scenes and add sources. Uh, but the source that you want to add here when you go to plus is going to be here a video capture device. Now, if you don't see any of these options or some of these options are missing, make sure you download OBS Studio and make sure that you check all of the different features that they allow for you to add as add-ons so that you can have all of these options that you have in here. Uh, so what you're going to do is video capture device uh, you're gonna want to make sure you have a webcam connected to your computer otherwise it's not going to show up here as an available capture device so any sort of camera that you can connect to your computer should show up here so we'll just call this webcam just so you guys know that we're using a web camera which I'm using a Logitech C922 I believe so there we go there I am what's up everybody so as you can see behind me I've got this green screen uh, so what I've tried to make sure you guys can tell is, see how it's kind of all the same sort of coloring? So lighting is very important. If you have like all sorts of like creases or weird things with shadows and stuff, then it's then that stuff's going to be a little bit harder to get out. Uh, so make sure that you have a nice, flat, smooth, uh, single color behind you. You can do green, you can do all sorts of other colors. Most people do green. But also make sure your shirt doesn't have any green stuff. Uh, but as you can see, green on the color spectrum is close to yellow. So uh, some of the yellow, if we go too far with the green, that could actually uh, go away as well. So let me show you. Now we've got this set up. If, you, uh, if your device doesn't show up, if you've already got it in another scene, you may have to copy it and paste it in a second scene to get it to work for you. Uh, so this is the green screen. It shows up. You've got a nice little preview there. So you're going to just take all of these, all these basic uh, things and click OK. So now you've got this. This is one of the uh, one of the sources that you've added. So you want to make it as big or smaller. Sometimes most people, if you're doing gaming or something like that, you're going to want it in, in one of the corners or you can cut certain parts off or something like that or, you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm just for this tutorial, I'm going to make it a little bit larger. So, all right, so we'll, we'll have it cover that much of the screen. So now you want to go to this source here, the webcam, and right-click on it. And then after you right-click, go to Filters. So after you go to Filters, what you want to do is see how we've got uh, audio, video filters. We're not adding any of those. This is an effect filter. So you want to click this plus symbol down here, which shows the effect filter for this. So we're going to click plus, and then we're going to go to Chroma Key. So if you do a, a Chroma Key, that will do it. We can just call that a green screen. Uh, the, the real name for green screen is chroma key and you can use, like, uh, like I said earlier, you can use blue, you can use green, you can pretty much pick almost any color that you want to do that. Uh, there's also a color key where you can kind of do a, a color pick, but as you can see, I, it defaults with the green screen and now you can see in the preview guys, the screen behind me is gone, everything green, but you can see I've got a little bit of a green kind of highlight tint around me right now. So what you can do here is you've got the similarity here. Uh, also here you can pick different colors. So if it's blue, then oh, whoa, there goes the blue stuff. Uh, you know, uh, magenta, uh, that one's kind of weird, but, uh, or you can go custom and you can pick out a different color. I believe you can do a, a color select to determine exactly what color you want to go with the green screen, but we're going with the green. But as you see the similarity, if I bring it all the way down, the green's not even gone, but if I bring it all the way up, everything's gone. So there's nice little fine point in between. You can see it starts to kind of go away a little bit, starts to go away a little bit, starts to go away. But I still got a bunch of glow and there's still some there. Oh, a little further. Okay. 
All right, oh, a little bit further and the glow is gone. So you wanna change the similarity up a little bit and now that's pretty good. If you guys have good lighting, go Google three-point lighting. You have good light to your left, good light to your right, a nice little uh, light overhead and that is going to make your image much better. And also lighting on the green screen behind you is very important. It has to be smooth and it has to be the same color. So if you go up, as you can see, other colors start to disappear. Like even, like I said, the yellow on my shirt, that yellow is disappearing quicker than anything else. So even right here, that yellow is still a little bit see-through. So if I want to, if I've got certain colors, I can bring it up just to where the yellow is visible. Okay, so this is good. I've got a little compromise. I've got a little bit of green around me. But once I overlay something behind me with a different layer from a different source, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've got uh, similarity here. Okay, we've got smoothness. So that's another setting that you can kind of add uh, to kind of affect the color uh, of, of the amount of green screen it takes. Uh, and then color spill. So if you roll it over all the way to the right, you can see everything is just going to be uh, black and white. So this will kind of affect the amount of color that you've got in the scene that you've got. So and then contrast, you can kind of make it brighter, less bright. So if you want to kind of just affect the way you look through uh, OBS with this brightness, you want to turn up the brightness to a certain level, but some people want to be super bright. Uh, some people want to be lower light Lighting. gamma this can also change your coloring and brightness a little bit so you can see that changes that that makes it a lot brighter but uh, so you want to find the right settings here usually the default settings are pretty good all you have to do usually is just change a little bit of similarity uh, so now we've got this and we've got the green screen behind us gone uh, color spill a little bit of smoothness okay so uh, we want to make it so everything shows up there we go there we go so my shirts there now we're gonna click on close when we're ready so now look at that we've got this and anything that you've got on any other layers make sure uh, you know the webcam is actually higher than the other source but anything behind you is gonna show up and it's just gonna be you right there with the color screen as you can see if you move super fast you can see the the, the green stuff comes back uh, so slower movements uh, it has kind of a harder time but again uh, is as the smoother you can make the color behind you the more you can change like the similarity and all of those settings the better you can help yourself out so that is basically how you set up a green screen with OBS for live streaming or whatever recordings whatever you're gonna do I hope that has been helpful for you please feel free to like and subscribe and comment below and we will see you guys later